so watch this. So from outside, we're, we focused on a high shoot, and you're often going to snare head and arm. Sometimes you might get the bridge arm here. It's a little bit harder, I find, when you're trying to go to the outside to get that tight sandwich. And we're going to look at using the bridge arm more as an inside tool in a moment. Um, other times, for example, you might shoot lower and end up in a double or a body lock, and then you might be in that position and go to it. We're going to address body lock more from the inside, but they can still happen from the outside. Now we're going to start to blend from being on the outside and voluntarily moving to the inside. One of our primary tools, and it's one of the easiest ones to catch, is although my hand, my parry is starting on the outside, I'm scooping down, and now because this is out of the way, it's easier for me to drive in with my bridge and to get into an underhook and pike. It's not impossible to monitor this hand, but if you're shooting it fast, sometimes that's coming out, do a jab cross, if I'm with it, that's going to come in right away. It's very, very fast, so you've got to imagine it's on a half beat. So I prefer always to, to drive here, and I'm shielding my head so if that cross comes in, I'm taking less damage, right? In this position, what can happen? He can slip over, and then I end up in this position, in which case I can get the bear trap there. He can try to put you in a headlock, right? So if you're there, the bridge arm becomes even more important, and then, again, you're in position. He can pull his arm out, right? In which case, I'm inside, and I get the bear trap. It doesn't really matter either way. But the idea is that I just want to see I can pepper it. Now we're going to mix it a little bit. I can still slip up and drive in, or I can pair it, and I come in. So it's just a very tight little hook, thumbless grip, all fingers together. Arm is either shielding here or bridge arming, driving into the neck. I can go for a hit, I can do what I wish. From underhook and pike, two major ways I can get bear trap. I can go over, but I don't want to choke. I want to grab the chin and rotate. And if I'm looking just to take him down, I'm going to guide this arm, push it away so I can take him down. But if I hold on, I'll get a lock. If I leave go, so he goes low. Boom, I take the chin. Face and chin, lift up, and then I'm guiding this elbow away. So I can take down and go to a hit. Second option is a conventional bear trap, but now in this position, the arm that's snared under the pit is a bit more occupied. So if I'm not going to go over, then I can go under, grab the head, and switch sides. And that's the easiest way to get it. If I try to go here, release, now he might spin, run away, or he might pull it back and start drilling in with the other hand, and it's hard to catch. So you have arm control, but you don't have the greatest head control. You only have head control because of traction. If I leave go of the arm, I don't have any head control, and he's going to take it. Right, so it's always better. If you have a choice, if he's not going low, keep the elbow, keep the shoulder, and pop under and immediately pivot to the other side. I can hit, I can up kick, and turn, get down right away. And so two basic options.